Good evening guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to learn how to make a wall paneling with inbuilt lighting in Dialux Evo. Something similar to this image. This kind of wall paneling can be in your residential projects, commercials or even facade. Today we will be focusing on interior and we will try to make exactly same kind of wall paneling with the lighting effect. For today's tutorial I have considered a sample project of a bedroom. I am planning to make this wall panel on this wall. If you are working on a real time project, you might have AutoCAD drawing for the elevation for such wall panels. But if you don't have one and if you have only the reference image or if you are practicing, you can follow this tutorial to learn. Now, firstly, these are like simple blocks. We have a back wall texture and this panel has a texture. And within this panel is this inbuilt lighting. You can make this blocks of wall panel from Dialog's furniture object using the cube. But the problem is if you are making with the furniture objects and if you are running the calculation without objects and furniture, then those wall panels will disappear and there will be only the lighting effect which might not complement well with your Lux analysis. So we will make it using room elements. Let's see how. In room elements, you have platform. We will consider this platform. We will go to the plan view. Now, the width of this room is around 3 meters. I will consider this wall panel to be of 0.5 meters and 0.5 meters. So, I will select the platform. Draw rectangular room element. Okay, width as I said, we will consider 0.5. Height 0.5. And thickness, let's consider 0.05. Now, zoom in and place it at the starting of the wall something like this now you just have to copy and paste the walls on the complete wall ctrl c ctrl v move it here make sure you are placing it accurately so that there are no gaps in between for the light spill copy ctrl c ctrl v paste it here and move it accurately ctrl c ctrl v done the last block I have some gap, I will just scale it till here. We have finished our first row. We will copy this. Hold the shift key to select the other block. Shift, shift, shift. Okay, control C, control V. Now we will move it to the top. Make sure you are placing it accurately. Zoom in. Same way. Copy, control C, control V. Move it. Control C, control V. Keep checking for proper positioning in the elevations. Done till here. Perfect. Now, since this pattern is like block, no block, block, no block. So, we will delete the alternative blocks. Select, delete, select, delete and repeat the process. Done. Now for the back wall, I will keep the wood texture itself and for this panels, I will apply some texture, create texture material. This is the texture I selected, use clipboard, replace material, done. Now for the IES files, you can get something of LED strip. For now, I am using this one, click for the IES files and download. Now go to the plan view, light. Import luminar file, change the height of the luminar to 0 0.002 or 1, 2 is enough, 0 0.002, finish. Okay, now carefully place the luminars on the blocks. Place individual luminar, rotate, position it and rotate the light distribution. If you want to See this light distribution curve, you can click on this one, show light distribution curves. Now select, Ctrl C, Ctrl V and position it properly. Keep checking even in the plan view to make sure you are doing it with precision. Done. So I'll copy this, Ctrl C, hold the shift key to select all. Move, Control C, Control V. Now I will 
skip the third row and position it on the fourth row. Go to the side elevation and make sure you are positioning it properly. Okay. Same way I will copy Ctrl C, Ctrl V and I will move it to the top and position it properly. Okay. Now in my reference image, one light source is here, one is in opposite direction and one is even in the sideways. You can change the pattern. This we have already placed. We have placed in one alignment that is we have placed at the bottom here. Okay. Now the second arrangement, let's make it at the side. For that, let's select this, Control C, Control V. Side views, rotate it. Move it, go to the plan view and place it accurately. Control C, Control V. Now position it at this side, go to the plan view. Zoom in. Done. Same way, Control C, Control V. Copy, select, hold the shift key and select all. Control C, Control V. Now move it to the third row. Go to the side elevations and check if you are positioning it properly. Control C, Control V. Move it. Zoom in and check if you are positioning it properly. So I have placed the IS files. I will position the furniture. Let's run the calculation and check the results. For now I will keep it in standard because I want to do the render. Run the calculation. Calculation has completed and you can see the effect. Nice. Let's save the view and do the render. Export. Save new view. Ray tracer. Increase the resolution and start ray tracing. Render is completed. This is the render. Perfect. Nice. Let's run the calculation without objects and furniture. We will keep it fast calculation without objects and furniture and run the calculation. Done. So the reason I made this wall, wall paneling using the room elements is this. Even when I am running the calculation with, without object and furniture like here. See your objects, it's not considered in calculation. Still you have this effect because we have made this using room elements. If you had made this using the cube, then you will not be having the light effect on it. Same to this one. Okay. So this is it guys in this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do hit a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me. Thank you.